Hey folks, welcome to the 30 Days to Learn Adobe After Effects course. My name is Vincent Nguyen, and today in this lesson, we're going to be talking about working with audio within After Effects. Now, in After Effects, working with audio has always been known to be kind of a troublesome and painful process. After Effects is kind of known to not handle audio so well, and it's not really a pleasant experience to work with audio within After Effects. Now, After Effects can make some basic cuts and basic um, equalizing and such like that and compression, but if you really want to work with audio, then I really, really highly suggest that you do it in your dedicated audio editor or even video editor, for example, because really After Effects is really not made to be working with audio unless you really have to. For example, if you're syncing a animation up with audio, then of course you can use your audio, but if you're going to do any serious editing with audio, do it in an editor dedicated for that stuff. So with that being said, here in this composition I have a audio file here, an epic action trailer file here, and I'm just going to drag it into my pre-made composition. Now if you drag this uh, audio layer into the new comp button, it's going to create a new composition with the exact durations, but we don't really need that in this demonstration here. So we have an audio file here. and the first thing you may notice if you're familiar with um, an audio editor is, wow, this is really useful right here. We just have a very simple bar, the duration of the track, and this is not really helpful. So how the heck do we see our waveforms? Because it's really, really useful to see waveforms when working with audio. Now you can show your waveforms by hitting the L button on your keyboard, hit L. And the first thing right off the bat, you're going to see the audio levels, which again may be helpful for you already. You can animate this and control the volume or the level of your audio track. And right underneath that, we have waveforms. And if you toggle it down, you can see all your waveforms. Now, as you can see, that was quite a bit of um, tedious work just to reveal our waveform and to reveal our audio levels. So, uh, I mean, just right off the bat, you can tell that this is not re a really good application to handle audio within After Effects. So that's how you see the waveforms. And as you can see, we have a nice hit right here. And then we have silence right here and such like that. So you can use the waveforms to somewhat um, be as a guide for you to sync up your audio. Now, a really nice way to kind of work with After Effects and audio and a really great way to sync up your audio with your animation or maybe your transition and your action trailer, etc., is to use markers within After Effects. Now, to create a marker, you can hit the asterisk key or the star key on your number keypad. This doesn't work if you just use the regular asterisk key um, right above your uh, typing area. I mean, you have to actually use the keypad. And it shouldn't be a problem because most people who use After Effects use a workstation that has a keyboard in there. So I'm going to hit the asterisk key. And as you can see, it creates kind of a little marker here. And you can go in here and click on the marker. And it's going to bring up the layer marker option. Then you can add maybe transition number one. And then you can fill in all these other stuff here and hit OK. And as you can see, we have a really cool little note here or marker on our layer. And we can freely drag this around. And it may be very, very useful for you to sync up your audio. So you can delete a marker by right clicking, hitting delete marker. Now if you want to create a composition marker, make sure that you're not selecting any single layer. So I'm going to click away here. And by hitting the asterisk key, you'll bring a marker in for the composition as you see up here. So really useful. Now how can we use this to work with our audio? Well, you can actually listen to the audio in real time using a RAM preview. And while listening, you can hit the asterisk key on your number keypad, and it's going to mark all your markers in real time as you're listening. So for an example here, I'm just going to listen to this audio track for maybe the first 10 seconds or so. And then while I'm listening in real time, I'm printing the asterisk key or pressing the asterisk key when I want a marker to be pressed. So I hit zero on the keypad to do a RAM preview. So as you can see, it's a really, really useful process while you're listening to mark the points where you want a transition to happen. For example, I did a marker at every single strong beat, and you can use that as kind of a guide to maybe uh, transition to a new scene, maybe cut to a new scene. So by using markers, it's really easy to sync up your audio and to visually see what's going on in your audio. Where do you want to cut? Where do you want to transition? It's really, really useful this way. Now, one final thing before I go, I want to talk about audio visualization, and this is going to be kind of a little fun extra tip for all you uh, audio junkies out there that want to visualize your audio real quick. Now, After Effects has a really useful little effect to kind of visualize your audio, 
and it may be very very useful to you guys out there that kind of want to add some somewhat of a visual to your maybe your mix or your track and it's kind of a little fun thing I'm going to show you so I'm going to create a new layer here you will call this visualization and hit OK and then I'm going to go to the effects and presets here and search in audio and under generate you should see audio spectrum right here I want to drag that effect onto our visualization layer and right off the bat you see kind of this kind of digital waveform here I guess now right here it says audio layer now it wants us to select our audio layer so in this case I'm gonna select our audio layer the epic action trailer layer and if we just make some adjustments here you can see that we have some very basic adjustments that a lot of audio engineers audio designers will know such as frequency and maximum height and bands and all that great stuff but I'm gonna crank up the maximum height just so we get a more uh, obvious effect here and I'm gonna change the color to maybe a blue color and then change the outside color to maybe this darker blue so we kind of get that club uh, spectrum look and there's a lot of more options that you can play with but basically what this does is it visualizes your audio in a pretty unique way so if I do a quick RAM preview So as you can see, it kind of visualizes your audio and reacts appropriately, and it's really, really cool. And we also have different display options. For example, this is the digital option here. We can uh, select the analog lines, and we get something different. And then we also have the analog dots. So just something really cool that you may want to look at and play around with, especially if you're kind of interested into the audio field. So this has just been a really quick lesson on working with audio, how to see the waveforms, and how to use your markers and visualize some stuff. Now in the next lesson, we're going to be talking about vectors and PSDs and rasterizations within After Effects. So if you guys have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave me a message in the form, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And once again, guys, my name is Vincent Nguyen. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye, guys.